Hi, my name is Mike Genicola, and I wanted to show you how I use my new Flickr's magnet combination to assess students during class. So, I have in Flickr's, my just says striking with hands for spike ball, and then the categories with A being a while for our report card, which comes off as a one for the students. Unfortunately, with Flickr's, you have to stay at A through D. So I just have to remember that a four is a wow and a one would be a D. So now I come over here, have, students have placed their magnets where their learning is, and I have something that would be displayed on the movie screen or at, papers could be in their hands for the progression of levels and what they have to do to progress. 20 consecutive catches, 20 catches while moving around, blah, 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 so stuff like that. Then I, at the end of class, and they have to make sure that their Plickers magnets are set up so that the numbers are up in the right category. So if they're at two, they have a two up. Three, a three and a four, they have the four up. Now for them, it was a little confusing at first because I, silly me, set up the levels like this so I, I should have done something else, but it's a learning experience for me. So now I basically will scan. And done. So I have everyone in. I basically, six of them would be an A grade level, eight of them at a B, nine at a C, and one at a D. So I could use that information uh, to further develop how I'm going to teach, what we need to work on, uh, maybe the progressions were too hard, and use that to move forward for me and have evidence of their learning. So there it is, and I hope that everyone can use this. It's really fast and efficient, and it actually keeps the kids really uh, on task and engaged because they're kind of directing their own learning.